of course, we're at our favorite red stop, and there's some squirrelies in that a feds a ate some penis too. But of course, they get again. The cows are hanging out over here. But had to stop by and get some more of these. Yes. So yes, now that I know what this is, so those are like frozen orange rinds, like those little like orange pouches. That's that's what's those are frozen those, and then strawberry puree balls, and then little chocolate bows. But one that I don't like is, yeah, you see that? That is orange rind right there. Oh, of course, won't zoom in, but yeah, that's what that is. And that's it, ew. But yeah, it's actually pretty good. Now, finally, get this one try it. Yeah, there's, there's like a lot of pulp. Yeah. What do you think? It's fruity. Very fruity. But yeah. just an undertone of chocolate. Yes. So we're going to have that with this and then head on over to Disney Springs. And we're now being delayed because. We got these lovely buddies trying to cross the road. No, he's crossing. Yeah. He's crossing. He's super friendly over there. Yeah, he's he's got that little like red on its head. Yeah. I have no idea what these birds well, are. We shall find out. Anybody knows what that bird is? Please let me know because it's pretty. All right, guys, yeah, so we're at Cabana Bay. We're looking for parking. We're going to be going into that entrance there. We're on this side of the building. Uh, uh, no, that's the end that's of Cabana us? Bay. Yeah. Wow. Handicap. You're probably it's not nice going to know that the handicap spots are on. Yeah. I don't want to go too far down. So. Probably. Let's go back to the garage. I'm going to tell you, Cabana Bay can fix one thing. It's have these more accessible. I had to go all the way up to our third floor to get this. Alright guys, so we're in the Americana. Yeah, so we got a, we didn't get a family suite this time. We just got a regular room. Let me tell you right now, this light switch is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Um, it says all off, but as you can tell, it's on. But hit it down, it goes off. I go down this one, it goes off. It doesn't know what it is. But, so here's the closet that, look, it actually has a door. Like, what have you seen? When's the last time you guys saw outside room actually has a closet with a door? Um, bathroom. Pretty much the same. Okay, do you guys like my my hairband? Look at my hairbands. Um, yes, I'm getting to that. But yes, guys, so I've been doing more with hairbands since I chopped all my hair off. But there's your classic zest. But guys, so this floor looks just like the counters at my work, only smaller. We have recycled sea glass and shells at work. And this looks just like the, <laughs> the counters at work. Only smaller pieces. I thought that was cute. That was one of the first things I saw. Oh, look, more light switches. But guys, so obviously, oh, the TV's finally turned off. What the crap has been playing since we came in? It was before we came in. Uh, but yeah, so here's the smaller room. Oh yeah, I mean, let me turn that back off. Yeah, guys, this is the classic we've had. Had the last one. Oh, and then that one goes to that one. Uh, but that's pretty much the exact same. The dresser drawer is pretty much the same. No, seriously, now the TV turns off. Uh, table kind of thing's the same. We did just come back from Bayliner Diner to get some food. Uh, we got another lovely view of the parking garage. Yo. Oh, you can see the arch thingy over there and the other hotel thingy over there. But yeah, room's basically the same. If this one, like, yeah, it only has, there's a window there and window there, wall there. I, I, don't, I don't get it, but there it is. Oh, turn the lights off. All off really does mean all off. Well, if the other ones flip the right way, yeah. it will. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it knows. Finally, let's see, turn the TV back on, because now it finally turned off, which is really kind of weird. I think it's kind of their welcome message, you know, it's like, Hi. There it is. Welcome to here. Let's see. I want to go. Well, I think Chuck Van, I think, said my name last time too. But, yes. So, there it is. There's the annoying music. Oh, there's the Minions room. I've got it. That's on my bucket list. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop and eat and I will give you guys more tour if there's anything really worth touring about here. But, yeah, this is Cabana Bay. Regular standard room. Alright guys, I kind of forgot. So yeah, I got the um, Ultimate Grilled Cheese. 
which has spinach and tomato on it and like three different kinds of cheeses. And that's got the pasta salad. So I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, there it is. Looks just, yeah, basic pasta salad. I'll let you guys know when and how it is, but yeah, very interesting. By the way, guys, look, this thing is very messy and greasy. I mean, like that is all just from the bun. But yes, this is a, like I said, a whole grain bread and very good so far. <laughs> very greasy and drippy. So how's your uh, Twakey over there? It's almost too thick to eat. I mean, look at this <laughs> Look at that thing. monster. Yeah, this thing is insane. That white stuff at the bottom uh -huh. is like five slices of cheese. Oh my God. Those are, there's turkey on there, isn't it? Yeah, there's the turkey. Okay. That's cheese at the bottom. Wow. And tomatoes and some lovely Much of greens. You know, the, and mayo all over. Say, how, how's the mayo pesto thing? It's pretty good. Yeah. All right, guys, by the way, check out this hallway. I mean, is this not the coolest hallway ever? Oh. I should have in here. By the way, guys, yeah, this is the lovely elevator lobby. I mean, look at this, so retro. So cute. It even has a hallway phone. How stinking cute is all this? I absolutely love this hotel. Hmm, not about it. But now I'm heading over to ice and vending. Cause well, I hit my elbow trying to find a uh, a cart, and uh, yeah, my arm hurts now. So, oh, by the way, guys, let's see. How much do you think this coke is? Three twenty-five. Yeah, no. So we have some uh, ice for the room and for my arm. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys some more of the hallway when we return. Well, here, let's look at the cool ice machine too. Let's... Oh no! Okay, perfect. Oh no, it's so perfect. a whole lot of ice but yay here's the laser reverse stuff i'm into it's not much to do this so i'm not gonna be this time but very very soon by the way guys yeah that's volcano bay right there that, that's volcano bay right there wow okay guys so this is probably gonna be a short video because well they're going to let much show it for a hotel I've already been at. Uh, so, by the way, guys, again, the whole Cabana Bay duck thing. Yes, it's right here in Cabana Bay. So, we're leaving a button and a little ducky because we can. Uh, yes, there's lovely Cabana Bay phone. Oh, yeah, first thing is, so, I don't know if it was in the family suite, but the regular standard rooms has a classic old analog clock, just, just like your basics. But... So one of the big problems I have with it is that there's like outlets on this thing, but the only USB ports are over here. And I don't like that. I don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> um, classic knobs or drawers there. Um, one of the problems I have got is like this goes backwards yeah but anyway so we're gonna head out um i gotta find where i just put my mask oh there it is in my pocket but yeah so heading out now okay so i did forget uh there's one more thing i want to show you so yes that is the entrance to cabana bay or to volcano bay this is cabana bay that's volcano bay yeah that, that there's the little path right there yes that one right there We'll take you into Volcano Bay if you are staying here at Cabana Bay. Yeah, that's amazing. So, our room was one of those up there. I don't even remember third floor. So, it's over there somewhere. 
But yeah, oh, there's over there somewhere. I don't even remember. Oh yeah, it's that way. But anyway, so I'm gonna first stuff up and head toward day one at Universal. Double hotel video for you guys. Cause yeah, we're gonna go to two different hotels cause reasons, I'll explain later. Guys, there it is. So I don't think we're gonna be going over there today, but heck actually doesn't look too bad. But yes, there it is. The world renowned, world's biggest white castle that is hanging out here in Orlando. There it is, there it is, there it is. Um, we might, heck, maybe stop there Saturday. I think we're gonna turn that Saturday on the way back. But yes, there it is. Oh my God, it's so loud. That's so freaking cool. Well, so far we've checked into the Holiday Inn Express, our second hotel, and the AC doesn't work. Gotta love that. And, oh wait, yo, that might not be it anymore. No, not hot. There Did we go. That yes. Oh, that's nice. Now we know. Um, it's 74 right now. I got it set down to 71. Okay, so that's weird. Even though it's got old ass settings over there, the new thingy is over here. I have a little carrot machine, by the way. Oh, and it even has tea. Oh, how cute. Oh, right. Now I gotta go uh, take this thing back down. Okay, so getting checked in the lovely Holiday Express nearest Universal Orlando. Uh, yeah, we're getting settled. Just getting back from uh, Disney Springs. But here's lovely Forest Lobby. And then we have this lovely mural. Yeah, there's the ice machine. Isn't it pretty? That's probably not. Oh. Sea World? No idea. Anyway, oh look, there's somebody standing outside my door. Um, you have the ice bucket? Inside your door. Like, not on me, no, but it's nearby. No, I'm grabbing. Or not. I can't hear water running there, but nothing's, uh, nothing's happening. Lovely. All right, guys, so we are here in, um, our second hotel, and I'll probably do, like, more of a hotel review for that. But I want to do a quick, um, well, since I'll, I don't know exactly how I'm going to lay these up, but uh, since we're back from doing Disney Springs, sorry guys, I just took a shower and oh my goodness, yay, fun. <laughs> anyway, so guys, while we're back um, from Disney Springs, I want to show you what all we got. So the main reason I wanted to go was for this. Yes. Um, well, there you guys see, uh, says it's the Mad Hatter and it says spill it. So I didn't want this one. I actually wanted the Hey Hey one, but the only had left was this and uh, the rainbow one. And I'm not a huge fan of rainbows, especially not ones that say Disney on them. So I want this. And uh, I'll tell you guys a full story about why this is fun. That uh, is not a cooling device. That is a percussion yeah. instrument. Yes, it is. Thank you, Serena. Uh, yeah, so you guys have seen I've done uh, videos with, or not with, well actually I did do a video with, um, but I've just done videos of the band Serena, the Sirens, uh, the cool Mer chicks. Uh, but yeah, one of their songs they do, she actually uses a fan as percussion and it is the coolest thing ever. And I have been desperately trying to find a fan that isn't from Dollar Tree and that makes that kick ass sound. So I got that one and it was only 10 bucks. I mean, literally, uh, wait, there it is. Literally, 10 bucks from Disney. Yeah. So, also while I was there, oh my God, I mean, I, when did you guys ever think I was gonna have a bag from Disney? But of course, while I was there, I figured, how often am I gonna go to uh, the, you know, Disney Springs? Probably gonna be, go there too much, except for to go to Chicken Guy. Uh, mind that, we're heading up the showers because we just got back. But I was like, okay, while I'm in here, I might as well at least get some like cool treats or something. So I got one of these, because Disney is known for their Rice Krispie treats, especially the chocolate covered Rice Krispie treats. So I had to hit this up, um, cause why not? It's very cute, it's got little sprinkles all over them or 100,000s for all of you Brits out there. 
me. Let's check that out. More than cute. And then I was also looking at the other candy in that section. And Mulder, who is a fan of purple and a fan of like Whoppers, you know, melted milk ball things. I saw this. And how could I say no to that? I mean, it's just so stinking cool that it's a purple bag and it's her favorite candy. So, of course, I got that. And then, of course, we stopped at Wonderful Chicken Guy. There we go. Um, by the way, very spicy. Uh, we just got some, you know, chicken tenders and stuff like that from Ham. And, yeah, we're just chilling in our Holiday Inn Express Hotel. Uh, sorry, I just looking at my phone here, or my laptop. But, yeah, so now we're chilling in Hotel Number 2, the Holiday Inn Express. Just relaxing and getting ready for another trip to Universal in the morning. Uh, and by the way, guys, though, hopefully it'll be massively public by the time I post this, because who knows when I'm going to post. It's probably next month. Uh, but just for reference, uh, we just got notification all over t uh, Facebook, and it's all over the internet right now, that Universal, as of Saturday morning, so Saturday, May 15th, Masks are no longer required outdoors. Uh, when you go to inside to restaurants or if you are in a queue line, you do have to, queue line. If you're in a queue, you have to wear a mask. Uh, but if you are in, anywhere outdoors, you do not have to wear a mask at Universal anymore. So um, that's gonna be interesting. I'm sure uh, Rick and Nikki will be talking about it tomorrow because they'll also be there tomorrow doing their weekly live stream but yeah so that's the late breaking news that literally we left universal whatever disney springs as uh mom was waiting for me uh to get chicken guy because we kind of divide and conquered plus it, it was getting a little crowded so it's just easy for me to bolt through the crowd and get the food and meet her back at the garage and it was for both of us to walk over there but so well, she was checking out the internet well waiting for me and yeah so that's that's really freaking cool but anyway i will i don't know what's going on in this video so whatever next is what you guys will see next but i will uh see you guys in like two seconds <laughs> just remember something else so yeah on the phone and i think over there by the remote as well there were these lovely hand wipes so instant hand sanitizer wipes and then travel lights wipe away Proving effectively to remove 99% of surf contaminant, surface contaminants. Uh, but yeah, hard surface cleaning wipes. So that was sitting just right here by the phone. But yeah, I thought that was interesting that I guess uh, they don't clean it themselves. They just leave it for you. Or they made a mistake. And, oops, sorry guys. They made a mistake and forgot to use them. But yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. All right, guys. So here at Holiday Inn Express, uh, closest to Universal, nearest to Universal, technically is their name. Uh, so they've got a grab and go breakfast. So it's pretty cool. Go downstairs. It's from six to nine thirty. Um, just go down there, and where they usually have the breakfast bar and everything set up next to this table. And there's a paper, and I wish I kept the paper. If I remember to grab it on the way out, I can see if I can grab another one. Um, but you just check mark whatever you want. Uh, you get one like entree, so there's one meal thing, and it was cool. So they had, um, I had the scrambled eggs, and is it was like scrambled eggs, or you can get a, a pork sausage link or pork sausage patties. And I'm like, uh, but then the next thing said veggie frittata with turkey sauce, and she's like, yes, and she's like, yeah, just scratch that one out and circle that one. I'm like, oh, perfect. So I got that, and then you get one fruit a drink, and a, like, snack dessert item. So I got their cinnamon roll. I don't think I've ever had their cinnamon rolls before, but I'm totally going to try that one. Um, and then there's... <clears throat> there's the yeah, little cutlery thing. Yeah, so let's see what's inside there. Oh, yeah, so there's little patties. And, hey, cool. So what did you get? Hello? Well, yeah, actually, they're pretty big. <laughs> Oh, which side did you get? The same thing you did. Did you do banana? No. Okay. And do fruit? I didn't get a fruit. Think of, what, did you get a side thingy? Huh? 
I got I got a bagel and cream cheese and scrambled eggs and Oh yeah, bagel and cream cheese. Okay. Yeah. I got bagel and cream cheese. <clears throat> And then, yeah, you get a fruit juice or water. Oh. Lenders bagel. Oh, she <laughs> looks just like we left at home. Yeah. Okay, it's kosher. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, that's how they're doing uh, you know, COVID breakfast right now, which is really cool. That's more than any other hotels done. Uh, most of them have just, you know, <laughs> SOL. <laughs> you can buy them from our lovely cafe. Like, mm, or not. But yeah, so good job, uh, Holiday and Express. <clears throat> yeah. That kid is called someone holding a utility and uh, didn't make sure that the door was shut. And the door of that, uh, I'm guessing a dryer or washer, it's hard to tell. Because, well, at this point, they, they both look about the same. But front. Yeah, I was like, yeah, well, dryer's sending me front load, but yeah, I, I'm waiting for it to break off, honestly. It's waving in the breeze. Yes. It's just a little bit soon, though. Oh, yeah, I'm afraid he's gonna, it, I mean, one good whoosh. And we've had some pretty good wind today. That bitch will snap right off. Yeah, but we're right Oh, oh jeez. All right, I got video. <laughs> Everyone who's seen Final Destination understands. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's that's definitely not safe. Look at that. That just one good wind and it, that thing is gone. 